dan wenting in your life hello guys this is shunta and today share i am sharing with you the anointing of your life as you read in first john 20 27 guys each and every one of us is anointed we are capable of doing something we are good at it of what we are doing we are doing it because we love it remember those talent those things you are love doing you are anointed for that certain thing each and every one of us is having an anointing situation in our life the situation of being practicing to be a good player a good you know the worker a good piano player a good soccer player a good a good things your talent has been an anointing in your life the anointing in you guys always abides you in everything you are going to love to do you love this thing you love doing this certain thing because you are anointed for this certain situation Yes, the anointing ab abides in us. The anointing is there to help us to fulfill our purpose. Guys, it's very difficult to fulfill our purpose when we are not anointed. We have to acknowledge it that we are anointed to do this thing. You can make it through the end. You can do all the things you want to do when you feel you are anointed of doing it. And what is the sign? The sign for that is when you do the thing you love doing. You love to play the soccer. You love to play the piano. You love to do the preaching. All those things you love doing, you are anointed for that certain situation. We are all anointed and we must develop that. We must develop to be a good player. We must develop to be a good reader. We must be develop a good and diligent worker. Each and every one of us must learn and accept the anointing in our life. The anointing that there is in our life to help us, to guide us, to fulfill our purpose. But of course, we have to learn to know our purpose. You have to understand the purpose in your life. You have to understand that this thing you are good at, you are anointed by that. You are, you are anointed to preach. You are anointed to share others what you have learned. You are anointed to help others. Acknowledge the anointing in your life. The anointing abides in you. Bear this in mind, guys. That the anointing in your life always abides in you. When you can acknowledge and be grateful for that, guys, you become at ease. It's a year to fulfill things. It's a year to com be committed and do something because you know and understand that you are fully anointed for the task. It is a task for you to preach. It is a task for you to be a good worker and do the great things at work. Yes, it, it, it is a task. And you are making and fulfilling that task is was given by your employer you are going to fulfill it you're going to do the best of your best of fulfilling the job of fulfilling the project because you know you can make it when you know you can make it and at the same time you are loving the thing you are doing there you are you are unwanted to fulfill your 
purpose. Remember always that the anointing is there to help you fulfill the things you want to do in your life. And I believe, guys, that it is a God given gift. Why? You are not going to love doing it if you are not anointed. You are not going to feel doing it when you are not anointed. You are going to be frustrated to do such thing when you are not anointed. When the anointing abides in you guys, you love doing it, you feel happy doing it. At the end of the day, there is satisfaction that you made it there is a feeling of being successful you feel that you are the top on your success when you can do the things that you are anointed to do so therefore guys i am sharing this with you a reminder to each and every one of us Read 1 John 20, 27. Remember, the anointing abides in you. This is Yuntel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you supporting me here in my channel. I love you all and bye-bye.